Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is provide you with a summary of all the results that you should learn in order to be able to work with the equation of an ellipse. Remember that it is the locus of a point P that moves such that the distance to a fixed point S compared to the distance to a fixed straight line is a constant which we call E, where E is between 0 and 1. And this will define an ellipse. E is called the eccentricity. Now that ratio, PS to PM then, always equals that constant E. And you should be familiar then with this straight line, it's called the directrix, and the point S here is called the focus. Now it's also possible to trace out the same ellipse if the focus and the directrix are placed in this position here, where it's symmetrical about a vertical line through the center here. In which case, we've got the ratio that P dash S dash compared with P dash M dash equals the same constant E. And so what we now have is two directrices. And we've also got S dash as another focus. So collectively, S and S dash are called foci. Now if I mark on axes through the center here and center this way of the ellipse, labeling them X and Y, then the ellipse it will cross here, let's say at the point with X coordinate A. And because of the symmetry then, this point here is at minus A. Now it can be shown that the equation of this directrix turns out then to be X equals A over E. And by symmetry, this one over here will be X equals minus A over E. And the coordinates of the focus S, the X coordinate that is, is AE, the Y coordinate will obviously be zero, and for S dash it is minus AE. So in summary we've got this, that we have the focus S with coordinates AE zero and the associated directrix X equals A over E, whilst the focus S dash has coordinates minus AE zero and directrix with equation X equals minus A over E. Now it can also be shown that the Cartesian equation for the ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where the constant b squared is given by a squared times all of 1 minus e squared. So I hope that's given you some idea then of what you need to be familiar with when dealing with equations of an ellipse. And if you want any proof of these ideas, then do check out the other videos that I've got below this one on my website.